Hi everyone, welcome to my video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today I am going to be reviewing um, the new Too Faced Born This Ah! The new Too Faced Born This Way um, powder foundations. I picked up two shades because I was I just went in really quickly to Sephora and I wasn't sure which one I was. I supposed I would be more warm sand. Um, but when I swatched it, it kind of swatched kind of light, so I was scared. So I picked up Butterscotch too, just in case. So, in this video today, I am going to be swatching these two powder foundations. I'm also going to be comparing them to some other foundations that I like to use. Also, I'm going to be dem demoing the product, and I'm going to be doing a... Um, whatchamacallit, a, um, a wear test, just to see how long it lasts um how long it'll um bef before i start looking oily and um you know how long it just lasts basically um so this product retails for 37 dollars and um you could pick it up at sephora they're also selling it obviously in the Too Faced website and i did see that they sell it at the home shopping network because when i was googling it i saw it i was like oh okay cool so yeah so there you could pick it up um, I picked up, like I said, Warm Sand, which is tan with golden undertones, and Butterscotch, which is rich tan with golden undertones. So you'll see when I swatch it, um, you'll see which one I ended up with, um, going with, and um, I believe there's only about 25 shades, because that's what I'm looking now on the Sephora website. I only counted 25, but maybe I'm counting wrong. And the claims. The claims of this thing is multi... Okay, so this is oil-free. Oil-free, multi-use complexion powder, um, infused with coconut water, aids in delicately replenishing skin's moisture levels, alpine rose, helps empower skin's health and resilience, and hyaluronic acid gives a smoother, more youthful appearance. So then it says, um, get naturally radiant, flawlessly smooth skin in seconds and touch up on the go with this do it all long wear found powder foundation infused with skin loving coconut water, the hyaluronic acid and alpine rose, it's complexion perfection with full coverage. So undetectable, they'll think you were born this way. Immediately after using, 96% said this formula felt comfortable on skin. After using for one week, 95% said the formula helped control shine. 90% said this formula provided natural coverage and 91% said this formula made skin look smoother. Start off with swatching um, the powders. When I went to Sephora yesterday, um, wait, the day before, whenever they launched, it was July 1st that they, well, that they were at Sephora. Um, I just quickly swatched it in my, my arm and I was like, okay, whatever, I'm going to take two. I took warm sand and butterscotch. I'm going to swatch them. Um, and I'm going to compare them to other foundations that I use that I like. Um, all right. So I'm going to open them. All right. I'm going to swatch warm sand. That's warm sand. There. I had to turn the light down. So hopefully that shows the color better. It's very powdery, yes, what it says. Alright, that's warm sand. This is butterscotch. Okay, so the top one is warm sand and the bottom one is butterscotch. Um, just first impression, the way I'm seeing it on camera, like on the monitor, on the TV, it's coming off very orangey. Here's with the light brighter. I'm going to compare it to the to foundations that I have because I don't own um, any powder foundations. This is actually the first time I've ever bought. Um, so I'm going to compare. The first one that I'll be comparing it to is Fenty Pro Filter 330. I don't know if this will be helpful. Um because um, I imagine there's a difference with powder and and liquid. I'm going to be swatching Huda Beauty number 410 Butterscotch. Brown Shield Sugar, excuse me. Uh, what is this called? The Oh, the Face Shape 
foundation and tan golden. I'm gonna do now L'Oreal Infallible Honey Bisque Naked Skin in 7.75. Alright, so from my wrist down, we have tan sand. I mean, excuse me, warm sand. This is the Too Faced. This is the Too Faced Warm Sand. Butterscotch. Fenty 330. Huda Beauty um, number 420 brown sugar, tan golden from Tarte uh, face, uh, tan golden Tarte face shape foundation, um, honey bisque from L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour wear, and this one is um, Urban Decay um, Naked Skin 7.75. <laughs> the first one is Warm Sand. I think it looks a lot like Huda. Okay, so really quickly when I was editing, I noticed this. Warm Sand actually does look a lot like Tan Golden from Tarte Shape Tape as well. So yeah, so I think just looking at it now from this view, like I see it like Warm Sand being a lot like, of course, the Huda like I said, but it also does have a lot of similarities to the Tan Golden from Tarte Shape Tape. So yeah. And butterscotch from Too Faced. I think it's very reminiscent to. Um, it has hints of Fenty. It looks like Fenty, but Fenty seems a little more orangey. I don't know how to say it. Maybe more goldeny. Um, but butterscotch reminds me a lot of Honey Bisque. Fenty is a lot like Honey Bisque too. There you go. That's what the light turned down. Um, how they look. Butterscotch looks like it's a little too orangey. It's gonna be a little too dark for me. It might match some parts of my face, but like down here, it's not. It's not cutting it. See, Tencent matches this part of my body, but I feel like it might be a little too light for the rest of my face, so it might not even show. I don't know. I have this weird feeling about tan or uh, warm sand, but I feel like it would match the best. My neck, nothing ever matches my neck. My neck has like pigmentation, so it's always darker. So I decided to go with warm sand. And let me get, I've never actually like put a powder foundation. Um, so this is my first time. Oh, I think I went a little too hard cause like all that came out, oops. I don't know, I've never done this before. I'm gonna use this. Let me see how that goes. There's like holes in it and everything. All right, let's see if it covers it up. So this is how it looks thus far. Yeah, I mean that side wasn't that bad um, compared to this side, but let's see. See, okay, so this is before. Now I'm gonna do an after. Let's see how it looks. But what I really, really like about this thing, about the pot, this um product, is that it looks like I have nothing on. Like it looks like, like doesn't look like anything. This is like lower light. I mean, in my opinion, it's not full coverage. I could still see like dark spots on me. But then again, I feel like it's something that maybe I could color correct, and then it'll be better. I didn't really color correct. Um, I feel like the acne that I have, it's like, it's pretty bad, so I probably have to use some, like, strong, heavy-duty foundation if I really wanted to cover it. But to be honest with you, that's not really the look that I go for anyways, to be, like, completely flawless looking. I don't like that because it looks like I have, um, like, uh, a lot going on. Alright, so I'll be right back to finish the rest of my face. And... Yeah, it's 621, but I started applying, I applied this like, I just take forever to just finish my face and everything else. So like around, I I, I want to say I applied it around 544 because that's when I checked the time when uh, I turned off the camera. So um, 
I'm gonna wear it for a bit. I'm gonna see how it goes. And um, but so far, um, I'm really impressed by it. I took photos with it, and it doesn't make me like it doesn't do that flashback. Like I don't look crazy, like ghostly and stuff. So I really like it. Hi, so I am back for my final check-in. It's been more than six hours that I've had it on. It is now. 105 i originally put this product on at 544 um so yeah so it's been well over six hours and uh i'm very impressed with the product i really really like this product i think that it's something that i'm definitely going to get use of on a daily basis because it doesn't feel like i have something on um it feels um lightweight but it still makes my skin look um it's not completely full coverage that's for sure like I showed in the video like you could still see like my imperfections and stuff like my pimples and, and things like they, they come through <clears throat> but it definitely does make the skin look better than you know it without anything and I like that um what else and I typically don't want to look like completely full coverage I don't want to look too flawless because that's a little too much for me. That's not what what I typically go for on a daily basis. Um, but yeah, so I really enjoyed it. I think, yeah, it does feel like it's just, like, it just feels, how do you say? Like, yeah, it does kind of look powdery when you first put it on. Like, you could see it, but, like, I have oily skin. So, like, after a while, actually, the oil started peeking through after, like, three three hours and a half so which is fine even look even after six hours i'm just really oily down my nose and i have some dewiness here but i don't mind that after six hours it still looks fine to me um i haven't touched up so if i would have just touched up i'm sure would have just been fine and this product is something that you could just touch up with go boop, 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 and that's it so um yeah it's some good stuff um i'm gonna zoom on in so Whoever's interested can see how it looks. Just me zoomed in. I mean, it's just very oily. My nose, even though it's very oily, it doesn't seem like product has come off it. Like, I was wearing something the other day that, like, the product was coming out. It just looked, like, patchy and weird, but this looks good. Like, I really like it a lot. And typically, like, to use this on a daily is is gonna be hard for me like to fathom because you know it's 37 dollars and usually i like to wear like drugstore on the daily but this is so good that screw that i'm gonna freaking use it probably on an everyday it's easy to use it's something that is quick that i could just go boom 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 at work i don't have to be like like you know blending and doing all that stuff um so yeah it's really good i think it's worth it 37 dollars whatever it is what it is the price point but yeah it's worth it um i'm wearing warm sand i do have concealer on top and bronzer and all that stuff but um but yeah that's pretty much it um thank you so much for watching and for tuning in and have a blessed rest of your day